from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Martha Kennedy. I'm a curator of popular and applied graphic art in the Prints and Photographs Division, and I'm very pleased to welcome you to our special program today by one of this year's Swan Foundation Fellows, Lara Sagisag. This event is sponsored by the Caroline and Irwin Swan Foundation for Caricature and Cartoon and the Prints and Photographs Division. It is also being filmed for future webcast, so please remember that if you take part in the Q&A after the presentation, you are granting permission to be included. The Swan Foundation is one of the few that provides direct support for scholarly graduate research in the field through annually awarded fellowships. It has been a very important part of the library's graphic arts program since 1977. It underwrites a broad array of programs relating to caricature and cartoon here at the library. These include preservation and processing of the library's collections of original comic art, development of these collections, and related public programming, including ongoing exhibitions, which are now being mounted in the Graphic Arts Gallery in the Jefferson Building. In fact, I'd like to mention that there is a newly opened exhibit in the Graphic Arts Galleries that uh, commemorates the 100th anniversary of Japan's gift of cherry trees to America. And the show includes two excellent cartoons, too. Today's speaker, Lara Sagisag, is a PhD candidate in childhood studies at Rutgers University Camden, where she held a university presidential scholarship from 2007 to 2009. Born and raised in the Philippines, Lara completed an MA in children's literature at Hollins University and an MFA in creative writing at the New School. She has published articles on children's literature as well as several children's books, including Children of Two Seasons, Poems for Young People, published in Manila in 2007. She has taught courses in creative writing, children's literature, and visual culture of childhood at the University of the Philippines and Rutgers University Camden. She brings a special perspective and unusual insight to her research with her combination of interdisciplinary academic training in children's literature and childhood studies, as well as her own creative engagement with children's literature. Her dissertation examines how kid strips, that is comic strips featuring child characters, participated in constructions of childhood in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. It's been a pleasure for me to assist Lara in accessing library holdings that have been helpful in her research, and we look forward to her lecture today. It is entitled, Sketching the Secret Tracts of the Child's Mind, Theorizing Childhood in Early American Fantasy Strips, 1905 to 1914. Please join me in welcoming Lara. Thank you. Thank you so much, Martha. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, I am extremely delighted to be here and very grateful for this opportunity to be able to um, present uh, my research to you um, and, and talk a little bit more about my, my bigger project, my, my dissertation. Um, I, I do want to begin by expressing my gratitude to the various groups and individuals who have made this presentation possible. First, an immense thank you to the Caroline and Irwin Swan Foundation for Caricature and Cartoon. Um, the year-long fellowship that the Swan Foundation awarded me has enabled me to focus on my research and dissertation writing. The Foundation's generous support of graduate student and postdoctoral research in caricature and cartoon is unquestionably a gift to all of scholarship, as it signifies the recognition that researchers need appropriate resources and time to accomplish quality work. Thank you to the staff of the Prints and Photographs Division for your kind assistance during my research visit. A special thank you to Martha Kennedy. 
Over the past year, Martha has patiently responded to my many, 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 many emails about the nuts and bolts, about the fellowship application, my research visit, and this lecture. Um, and she is also the primary reason why I never got lost at the library, either, <laughs> like literally or figuratively. Um, thank you to, to the staff of the Kluge Center for generously providing me office space and for um, your war warm welcome during my re research visit. And most of all, thank you to all of you for being here today. I, I really take this to be a, a very generous gesture um, that you are, are present here to, to listen to my um, lecture. So again, my lecture is um, entitled Sketching the Secret Tracks of the Child's Mind, Theorizing Childhood in Early American, Comics, uh, Early American Fantasy Strips, 1905 to 1914. And it is based on a chapter of my dissertation that I am currently drafting. Before we um, delve more into these secret tracks, however, I would like to frame my lecture by talking a little bit more about the purpose and significance of my larger project and also give a little background about the figure of the child in comic strip history. And, and, and thank you for referring to, because um, there were a lot of like these editorial cartoons that would, for example, portray Uncle Sam carrying like little brown babies like Cuba, the Philippines, Puerto Rico, like, you know, and, and they would all be these kind of like very mischievous children that Uncle Sam was trying to kind of like, um, like, you know, pacify. Yes, exactly. Uh, as, um, these are my plants. <laughs> <laughs> Our so biggest fans, yeah. So this is not a pre-supplied question. <laughs> <laughs> so, and, and while this won't come as a big surprise 